Oh, hello and welcome. My name is Table. That's me. And this is Main Assembly, right? This game came out uh, today, in fact. And I've had my eye on it for a little while because, as you may be aware, if you've ever watched this channel, I used to be really into a game called Robocraft, right? And it kind of went down the toilet. And since then, I've been looking for a game that could kind of scratch that design itch. And a lot of games have come and gone. I, uh, one one springs to mind is Scrap Mechanic, a game that just wasn't very intuitive and was rather badly optimized in my oh so humble opinion. It might be better now. But we have a contender. So first of all, I'm just going to show you... Let's just do Sandbox. This is what interests me. You see Flatland? Does this look familiar? Now, items take damage, which is really nice. I'm just going to press B, right? And I'm going to spawn in... Uh, this is my most recent vehicle, but I'm not going to spawn it in this one. So let's just delete this. Sec oh, I've just deleted a section. Uh, no, we want to uh, think table, think. Just press enter and then get out of it and then just delete it. There we go. Just delete that uh, because if I spawn in uh, tab, no, not tab, enter, B, tab. Ah, there we go. Bots. I want to spawn in this one. Okay, let's just get in that. Okay, so here we go. It's my six-wheeled six -wheeled vehicle. And then I've got these bits on here. And they're quite powerful, so it should do a flip any second now. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> now, if we just uh, stop accelerating for a moment, you will see that my... Uh, my uh, my arms, if you can see those, they have taken some damage. You can see they're a little bit wonky. Uh, and, and the front of my vehicle has taken some da damage, right? So I'm a little bit excited about this. Parts-wise, you have to un unlock them by completing challenges. So... Oh, my wheels! Okay, that was just... Okay, so the wheels take a little while to spin down. Okay, another thing is, if you go here, right... You've got inputs, outputs, and you can add in all kinds of commands to sort out your parts. And you can change their steering angle, you can change the brake strength, you can change the engine power. Like, there's a lot of details that seem really good and that they might be onto something, right? So that's what I'm very excited about. So let's go into the build option, right? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just go from the beginning, right? So I'm going to get rid of this one. <clears throat> So we're going to go bots. I'm going to go start. These are all my various designs. Uh, I, like I say, I've only played through the tutorials and the first set of challenges, but I'll show you those. First, we're going to build something. So how about we just go with a box, right? <clears throat> and we're going to create a vehicle. So you get on the top, you get a dri little driving seat, which is where your little drone thing connects. I'm just going to take that off immediately. This is as far as I've got. So you've got corners, edges, and surfaces, right? If you hold control, you can drag it out like that, which is pretty cool. If you just click and hold, you put, move it like this. You see, you just uh, like that. If you hold Alt, you can do curves. Not bad, huh? So we can do that. So I'm just going to drag that back down to level. And I think I'm going to continue with that curve. <coughs> so you can move it forward like so. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got a curve and we have that on there. Now I want to extend this section and add another part. So we're just going to go ahead and do that like that. And that looks to me like a little bit of a bumper. I'm going to drag out this corner a little bit. And I'm going to I'm gonna say no to that. I'm going to drag it back and drag it up. So we've got a little bit of a little bit of a front of a car. Now, I'd like to be able to create a fairing. I haven't quite managed that. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to hold control on an edge and drag out that edge. And I'm going to hold control and drag this edge down. Okay, so now we have a very square fairing. I don't like the length that's gone, so I'm going to hold control and just drag that. No, <clears throat> it does not let me do that. Control Z is undo, so let's undo that and just drag it. Oh, hello. We didn't want to do that. I want to grab this edge and drag this edge down. I'm not holding control, that's why. There we go. So then, if I press Alt, I should be able to curve that. Ah, there we go. That's not how fairings work. So let's delete this section. So I deleted the edge and I want to delete the surface. There we go. And then what I want to do is I want to drag this bit down a bit. Let's see how that affects things. So the fairing's gone down, but also it's dragged the curve of the bumper down as well. So now that's all a little bit too wide for my taste. So hopefully if I hold this, I can drag this in. 
Ah, but then it also needs this edge to go in as well. Okay. So that, to me, looks like a rather wonky fairing. There we go. That is now how I'd like it to look. I would love to drag out this edge. Can I do it? And can I move that to there? Ooh, I can. Okay, so we can do the same here. If I hold control. You can see why I'm getting excited about this game, right? Because, like, the building is pretty intuitive. I know there's a lot more to do, because if you go to the radio menu... Uh, you gonna let me go to the radio menu? E, radio menu? No? Tab, catalog? Okay, yeah, that's fine, but I really wanna... I don't know what that is, but, uh, click middle mouse? No. E, E. Ah, there we go. Clone, lock, advanced. We've got some advanced options here that I haven't even begun to tinker with yet. But, so far, let's just get our, let's just get our wheels on. We've got our bumper. This is, this bit has gone a bit weird here. I don't like how this line is so... Prominent. So I want to try and bring that down a little bit. Maybe bring that back a bit. And then bring this bumper back into the negative, like so. Yeah, alright. That's uh I'm alright with that. Let's have that as our bumper. Okay, let's get let's get some wheels in. I can show you how they work. So you get catalog, motors, uh, no we don't. Oh, that's new. I've unlocked that. Hover pad. Hover pads may cause your robot to float above surfaces. That's a new thing I've unlocked. I'm quite Oh, wait, hang on. No, extra large, large. Okay, it's just giving me everything. Oh, man. Thrust. Let's have a look. Jet engine. RCS thruster. Booster. Propellers. Oh, okay. If they give you online online multiplayer racing and online multiplayer combat, then that's amazing. Universal joint. Piston. Hinge. I need a weapon. Oh, <gasps> there is weapons. There are weapons. Hammerhead. Sturdy hammerhead, good for smashing rocks. That's the only weapon. But the fact that there's a weapons option. Weights. Cosmetics. Squiggly eyes. Awesome. Ah, oh, different cockpits. Fantastic. I'm going to have this cockpit. Because at the moment, none of those are the ones I'm using. Tools. Forklift. Oh, what? Bulldozer blade. Bumper. Let's put a bumper on. I'm going to put the bumper on. Oh, the bumper's massive. Uh, I don't want to put the bumper on. Okay, so there's loads of extra stuff then. Okay, that's absolutely amazing. I'm even more excited about this game. It could be. I'm getting the vibe that I got all those years ago when I first recorded RC. I'm getting that vibe. And I was a little bit worried about things not working right. Uh, I need... Oh, tiny wheels. Oh, they're really tiny. I think I'm going to go small. Small racing wheel. Because they've got racing wheels and they've got weapons. So, you know what? I kind of... Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, back back to the designing. Let's just go ahead and get this vehicle sorted out right away. I'm just going to whack that on. And uh, let's just uh, bring that up over so slightly. Push this up and back. And uh, whack on another wheel. I don't know how to click and uh, drag yet. I, don't, I haven't got that far yet. So let's put on a wheel on the back. And you know what? Let's try putting on a bigger wheel. <clears throat> a bigger racing wheel. Large racing. There we go. Let's do that. Let's see how we get along with that. So we've got a large racing wheel. Uh, let's put on the hatch. We need a control hatch. Where are we? Um, uh, where are we? Hatch, 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 hatch. There. So let's whack that on the top. Oh, it's a little bigger than I wanted, but not a problem. You put it on, uh, and then you can click and hold this and just drag it out a little bit. Ah, but you see now it's moved our wheels, so we've got to fix that as well. There we go. Our wheels should now be level. Yes, they are. Good. Okay, we got our hatch. We got our car. <clears throat> Let's check our stats. Uh, I need to go to P. Why aren't you letting me do that, P, please? Why aren't you letting me... Uh... Why aren't you letting me do my... Uh... i got to print it. Okay. Okay, let's get in. I want to drive my vehicle, please. Why won't you let me enter the vehicle? Is that hatch not controllable? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I'm confused. Okay, let's just... Uh... So I can only delete it. Why? Why is that? I don't think this control panel of mine is something I can use. So let's go to the build menu. Let's just uh, click on that. See, it says cockpit 01, but for some reason... Let's have a look. Maybe there's something wrong with that one. 
because I haven't unlocked it, maybe? Electronics, lights, control... Ah, controllers. Here we go. CPU allows you to do more programming, camera, speaker, sensors. Looks like you can fully automate these suckers. This is what I needed. So let's just whack that on like so. Okay. Now I can activate it. There we go. So we've got WNS, power. Let's go ahead and uh, go to this output, power. And let's increase the power to... I guess we'll go for whatever maximum power is. Can I do 1,000? Can I do 1,000? 100 is the maximum. Okay, acceleration. 100. <laughs> Marvellous. Okay, we've got our steering. Let's uh, put on an engine. I just feel like I really want an engine. Uh, cosmetic tools, cockpits. Uh, electronic mechanical. No, chassis thrust. There we go. So let's go for jet... Oh, booster. Booster will give you a... Your bot extra speed for a short while. Jet engine that will apply a strong continuous force. I like the sound of that. Strong continuous force is what I want. We have two engines. <laughs> Let's just move that seat ever so slightly forward. Can we just move you forward a little bit? I think we're good. Let's go give this a test. Okay. My jet engines are not activating. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to the build. Uh, B. No. Didn't want that. If I just press P here, I can. Okay. Excellent. Um, input. Let's put in an input for uh, parts. Jet engine. Jet power. Uh, and I will go for... Q to increase and E to decrease. I need to hook those up. Jet power. Let's put you to 100 and give you a go. Excellent. So we just exit out of that and we can go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the speed increase is significant. <laughs> okay, we just need to ease up a little bit there. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and then self-write that thing. So, as you can see, I'm pretty excited about this game. Let's just uh, try that thrust again. <laughs> Man. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I want to test something. <laughs> I want to test something real quick. I just want to uh, delete that and uh, go to build. And I just want to take off my wheels, right? I want to see what happens if I remove these wheels. Let's just take those off. Right, we take off the wheels. I'm going to get rid of the fairing. There we go. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out this edge here, right? Like that. And then I need to bring this up so it... No, that's not what I want to do. I want to get this edge. See, now what I haven't figured out is how to get... I want to get an edge in there. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cheat and bend it. Because I don't know how to do what I want to do. So I'm going to bend that. There we go. Yeah, okay, that would do. Uh, I kind of want to decrease this section to make it a little bit more like a foot. Yeah, that's good. And then I want to bring out this edge for some more stability. And then I have to go to the alt because I have to curve this instead, unfortunately. There we go. Okay, so... That's our design. I kind of want to move this edge back a bit. Is it... Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. And then I can reposition this engine. Oh, no, no, no. You need to be wider. Engine, I need you. Engine. You go out to there. Okay, good. Let's uh, give this a test. <laughs> okay, so I've got my... I've got my... Uh, my craft, I guess? I wonder if aerodynamics are a thing. Oh, I took a hit. <laughs> oh, just give me just give me this game mode, this map, and give me four other people with vehicles that can shoot and destroy each other, and I'm in. I'm sold. Well, I've already bought it, so I'm already sold. 
Okay, um, there's um, <laughs> what should we try? Uh, no, we're in the wrong menu. Let's uh, build this. Can we manage flight? I think we can manage flight, guys. I think we can get this flying. So let's just bring that out and then bring out this edge as well. Hmm, I don't know what this thing is. I don't like what's going on here at all. So I'm going to delete those sections. I don't like those struts sticking out there. Let's get rid of those. There's still some more here. Get rid of that edge. There we go. And what's going on with that? Yeah, again, there's still some kind of... Oh, I can't access that under there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not liking what's going on the front here. Let's... Can I get rid of that? There we go. Oh, there's still something there. Okay, we're changing it a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, headphone users. Apologies. I do apologize. Let's get rid of that. You know what? Let's just modify this whole section. Now I should be able to delete that. There we go. Yeah. Okay, no, actually. Still not letting me delete it. Maybe that's because of these. Where is that bit? I just don't see where that bit is. Hmm. I just don't see where you are. Ah, here we go. This could be it. Yeah, it clearly doesn't like me deleting that section. I don't know why. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that bit. And I will redesign. Oh, I guess that's the beginning of it. Ah, right. Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. So I've made a little bit of a boo-boo here and I've deleted too much. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of these bits. And then I'll just make the wing... I'll make the wing from this section only. So, we want to use the old control. And we want to drag out... Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Oh, do you know what? Maybe we do want to do that. Maybe we will just do that. Okay, let's drag that out. Whoop. And then this could be our wing. So, we're going to go... Whoa. And then uh, underneath, we're going to bring this bit in a bit. Like so. And this will be our front section. So, I just want to raise that a little bit. And I want to extend that. Just to make it look a little cool. Yeah, there we go. Don't be wonky. Yeah, okay. Let's just do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that forward, if I can. And that could be our, our engine adjustment segment thingy. Yeah, eagle. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to put a big curve in this wing. So we do the top side first. There we go. And then we'll bring this one up. Like so. And then I'm gonna move this out. Oh, hang on. We we don't wanna we don't want that curve to overlap. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a curve here. No, it doesn't like that. Oh, let's do a curve like that. Yeah! Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all we're gonna have. That's our craft right there. We've got our craft. This edge here looks horrendous. I wonder if I can do something about that. <laughs> Now you've turned into a bit of a chunker. That's no good. Let's just modify that ever so slightly. And maybe just bring this section up a bit. Like so. Okay, yeah. So we've, we've gone for a flying squirrel. <laughs> flying squirrel it is. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, I've got colours as well. You just mouse wheel and you click on it and you've got some colours that you can play around with. So we've got some blue and you've got black as well. Uh, there we go. So it's whatever the left-hand one is, clearly. That's the colour that you use. So let's just paint that in like so. There we go. Okay, good. Now, um, let's put those engines on. Uh, frost. Jet engines. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for an above and below approach. Will it let me mount them underneath? Ah, how do I rotate it though? Ah, here we go. Mouse wheel. Okay, good. So that was relatively easy. Are you facing forward? Near enough. Excellent. So now I've got those engines on. I need to... Uh, what about those RCS thrusters? Let's have a look. Reaction control system will give you advanced aerial control of your bot in an easy way. It will stop any rotation and transla translation. You can hover your bot and even more directions even slowly. Okay, well, let's go for that. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, whack you on my corners. 
There we go. And over here. And then I'll put a couple on the head. And then underneath as well on the edges. So let's just get all those on. Marvellous. Okay, so we've got our RCS thrusters on. Let's just press P and see what it's configured it to. Oh, I need to put on control. Uh, control, control, control. Misc. Cockpits. No. Uh, so that's in addition to the seat, I'm sure. Um, uh, where is it? Where, where am I looking for? Mechanical, no. Electronics, yes. Controllers. There we go. So let's just whack this on here. Let's just whack that there. Now we can go to P and we can see what's going on. W and S. Okay, jet power against gravity. Okay, let's just go ahead and see what it's given me. Let's go. <laughs> uh, nothing, okay. Press P. And we're gonna go to inputs. Put an input in there. And we're gonna go to parts. And we're gonna just drag in jet engines, jet power. Oh, here we go, hang on. Oh, left shift, okay. Forget about that. Get rid of that. Let's just go left shift. Okay. Let's go back to flying. Left shift. Hmm. I am not taking off. I I have it. I've got it. I've got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, we go to build. And I'm just going to go thrusters. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to go to the P option because this seems a bit confusing. Um, so let's just take that and delete this chain. Oh, okay. Input uh, Q and E. And then we want to go to parts and we're going to go to RCS thruster. Fixed rotation counter spin against gravity. <clears throat> uh... And we're just going to drag all of those in. Against gravity. Group, yep. Okay, yep. Against gravi gravity. Uh, against gravity. Let's see how we get on. And the last one. Against gravity, against gravity, against gravity. Uh, this one. Okay, good. Let's connect those up. Now, I want to put on uh, just a couple of engines just to uh, give myself some upward thrust. So we're going to do that. And then if I go to P uh, and I go to input input I'm going to go with uh, oh I've already got oh wait no no I don't even need that because we've already got one here. So if I go parts and go jet engines oh I don't know which jet engines it was because I've got it, jet engine free must be the engine. It must be jet engine free. Jet power. Bang. Okay. Let's have a look. Go. Ha ha! Here we go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Just need, just need to make a slight, slight modification. Just a slight modification in the form of uh, uh, thrust. Just two of these pointing down. I need somewhere convenient to attach this. There we go. Uh, that'll do. And if I pee that sucker and then go jet engines. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to go inputs. Uh, right there. W, S. And then uh, parts. Jet engine 4. <coughs> Connected. Good. Go. Oh, my engines fell off. No. <laughs> my engines fell off. Okay, so there's clearly a structural limit to sections and what you can achieve. So there we have it. That is main assembly, right? I'm pretty excited about it. If they put in a projectile weapon and allow this mode with fighting, I'm definitely on board. I know you can build mechs. And if I'm not mistaken in the fan art, the mech has missile launchers, but I'm not certain. But anyway, Ivy Table, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Woo!